and the battle over firearms inside the state capitol is heating up. The Capitol Commission deciding on a ban on guns in the building. Their meeting ending in threats. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner joins us live. And Jim, the commission taking those threats very seriously. Yeah, they met on Zoom. People are watching on Zoom, and the commission members discussed the threats when they ended their meeting. You're going to see that coming up, but from here, the discussions will include legislative leaders, the governor, and likely the state police. Even Republican appointees on this commission are saying guns inside the Capitol, not a good look. I don't like seeing weapons in the building either. Um, but I think we have to be very careful that, that we're not overstepping. These videos of gun-toting protesters on April the 30th made national news. It is the Michigan Capitol Commission now under the gun to act first. I do not like what I have seen in the news of the threatening figures in the, in the two chambers. And I do think we need to do something. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel gave this legal opinion to the commission, saying the six members have the legal authority. The opinion was requested by Michigan House Democrats. On a vote of six to nothing, no action taken here. One commission member proposing getting other legal opinions and continuing discussions with legislative leaders and the governor's office. But for me to make a final decision today would not be doing the duty of which I'm obligated to do. And so... The motion is not intended to sidestep the issue, but rather to do it in a thorough manner. Michigan is one of several states that still allow guns in the state capitals, according to the Crime Prevention Research Center. The Michigan Coalition for Responsible Gun Owners is headed up by the Lake County Sheriff in western Michigan. He says the protesters may have swayed public opinion against their goals. By doing these, these, uh, these really theatrical-type things that it, it doesn't help all gun owners. It may distract or bring people um, against it. This discussion can be political, emotional, and heated. After a timeout, one commission member said this about online posts that were made during their meeting. I move to adjourn the meeting, citing public safety. We have some people who have infiltrated the meeting that are doing racial attacks and are threatening both legislators and individual commission members. And I'm told this afternoon those threats were in the side box on the Zoom. They can't be traced because people were using fake names. So the discussion about guns and a possible ban will continue this week up in Lansing. And we're told there could be another protest in Lansing on Thursday. Live in Detroit, Jim Kirsten, 7 Action News. Heated discussion on both sides of the aisle, Jim. Thank you.